know when the whistle go It is a fabulous day. I'm here in Cleveland, Ohio. What is Cleveland, Ohio known for? The Football Hall of Fame, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Cleveland Indians, what else? Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Look at this, the Christmas Story movie. You guys remember the Christmas Story movie? Well, if you come to Cleveland, you can check out the museum and the house that they filmed part of the movie at. So let's take a walk through so you can see what to do in Cleveland whenever you're here. But after this, we're gonna go to Postaloy. Postaloy is a manufacturing factor of hard surfacing, wire alloys, and Duraban uh, alloys for the oil and gas industry. So we're gonna tour their facility and see what they have to offer. So stick around if you know what's good for you. See ya. Postal Industries in Cleveland, Ohio, which is really Brook Park, Brook Park Cleveland, near, Cleveland, near the airport. A lot of people know joining or weld joining, where you're combining two materials with a filler wire. So Postal Industries is a little bit different, where they do more of a hard surfacing. For me, this is way outside of my box, so that's why we have Troy Voice here. He is the sales manager for Postal Industries, and he's going to give us a little tour, but also maybe show us some applications that you can utilize hard surfacing uh, wire or filler metals. Postal Industries has two different business units. We have hard face technologies and hard banding solutions, right? So hard banding solutions is basically a hard facing or hard banding of drill pipe for oil and gas industry. We manufacture wires for that application and hard face technologies is all things but oil and gas. pure tungsten carbide particles into the weld beam to provide ultimate wear erosion. This will have the, the fluid but 
also is the draw pipe for the oil from the ground. And this goes how far into the ground? Thousands of feet. Thousands of feet. Miles. surfacing, you experience check cracking. Many times, yeah. And, and yeah. your example earlier was pretty good. Yeah, so so check cracking in many cases is is required depending on the alloy. So most products do crack and they crack for a reason to relieve them themselves. So they take the pressure off of the, the alloy. Um, a hard face material would have maybe twice or three times the amount of comprehensive strength as a base metal. So if it does not check crack, you just grab the base material and rip it out. They offer hard surfacing electrodes. So hard surfacing electrodes anywhere from 10 pounds, which is this nice little blue case, up to 50, 100, 500. So if you want 500 pounds of electrodes, they're gonna ship it to you. Absolutely. If you look here, they're electrodes. Most of them look black like this, correct? Yeah. So these are tubular electrodes. So these would be similar to like a flux core or a metal core. Metal core, yeah, flux core, metal core wire. Yeah. Big difference between a tubular electrode and a standard extruded conventional style is it's basically a hollow core, hollow tube with uh, the composite on the inside. So what this does for hard facing materials, it allows us to get a higher alloy percentage fill, which makes a harder rod and a more efficient rod. And being a tubular, we run much less current than you typically would on a conventional stick rod. So for example, this is a, a 3 8 diameter electrode that we can weld maybe in that 130, 150 amp range, which would be comparable to a typical 537. So lower heat, lower base metal dilution, better efficiency with tubulars. We sell this a lot to quarries and mines, heavy equipment, buckets, things like that. So Next time you drive by a rock quarry and see their bucket with X's or dot patterns on the side of the bucket, it could be a product like this. I have a brush hog at home, it's yes, right my tractor, and I always hit rocks. We can play like tons of rocks. Right. Would it be a good idea to do your blades with something like this, or is it a bad idea? You know, it depends on which alloy you use. Some rods, it would be a very bad idea when it's rod or wire. Um, but we do have products that will stand impact. So we got the Duraband 116 wire loaded in the machine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to show you conventional CV and then we're going to switch to the synergic line that we created with Postal so you can see the difference in the quality. Right away, 
boy here, he's going to give me a little insight or everybody here a little insight on rock wall hardening, but they have equipment uh, where they can test the hardness of an overlay or a hard surfacing alloy yep. on the base material. So, uh, right. we'll leave it all. So we've got uh, both versions here. We have a, a Brunel tester and a Rockwell tester. Both are uh, versions of hardness for all sorts of materials. Um, typically, the, the, the best way I can describe it is a, a diamond is not 99 Rockwell. So, um, when you test a base material, commonly a mild steel could be 15 rock oil. Stainlesses get up in the upper 20s and 30s. Uh, a hard face product very commonly would be in that 60 rock oil C range, which is, so really to think about it, 60% the hardness of the diamond. I have a ton of inventory. Not only that, they have uh, how many warehouses in the U.S.? Well, we currently hold uh, two in Texas, one in North Dakota, one in Wyoming, and also have Singapore, Scotland, and a little bit in Moscow.